Welcome back. An organization born out of tragedy has found a way to pass along joy to others who may have a hard time finding it. When a West Michigan woman lost her sister in a plane crash, her purpose became carrying her sister's legacy forward. In this Fox 17 update to a story two years in the making, she's accomplished that and much more. Two years ago, the death of Lindsay Vogelar and her husband Costas Savillis made headlines, having died in a plane crash in Colorado just four days after their wedding. Lindsay's sister, Courtney, knew the legacy her sister left behind needed to be carried on. She just had to figure out how. Like, what is my purpose now? Like, what am I going to do from here? Fast forward to today, and she's found it. Definitely a healing purpose, and um, I love doing this. I have so much, like, joy in this. Saturday, Courtney will host the second annual Lindsay and Costas Memorial Golf Outing, a fundraiser event that has grown this year to 29 teams of golfers, along with donors and volunteers, most of them impacted by the story of this family's loss. We have definitely had good days, great days, and um, not so good days, um, and that's just part of grieving. The money raised goes to support other families grieving the loss of a loved one. Casas and Lindsay love to adventure. That's what we hope to give to other, other families. Families like Harry Risley's. Harry's seven-year-old daughter Ruby died in February of 2021, hit by a car walking home from school. Knowing that part of you isn't there anymore is hard. It's a pain only a parent who has lost a child knows. And while that pain may never go away, Lindsay's family is hoping to pass along the joy she radiated to others by funding a getaway. Last year, they raised $13,000 split between two families, including Harry's, to go wherever the money could take them. If they can just escape for just a little bit of time and try to escape their normal life, um, and really just kind of get their mind off of it, even if it's for a few minutes or a few hours. Harry used it to rent an RV and get away. With his three boys in tow, they drove south, stopping at Ruby Falls in Tennessee. So it was pretty cool that they got to experience that. And, you know, we talked a lot about Ruby that day. Knowing people out there are doing good things with tragedies um, is very inspiring. And he's taken that inspiration and turned it into his own nonprofit, helping feed the homeless with more outreach on the horizon, all in honor of who Ruby was and how she treated others. You can be kind to everybody. Lindsay and Costas' legacy certainly lives on, and we have links to both organizations on our website. And if you happen to know of a family experiencing loss and think they may benefit from something like this, you can visit the Lindsay Vogelar and Costas Savillas Memorial Fund and nominate someone until October 1st.